Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of Bilvavi Mishkan Evna about a Munapshuta, simple faith, which is going to lead us to big levels in our Avodis Hashem. We should not make it inc- inconsequential in our eyes to go after and accustom ourselves to follow in the ways of the great and holy Chavetz Chaim. And to work hard and to affix inside of our hearts these great roots. With a Muna Pshuta simple faith that is clean and pure. The root of all the problems that we recognize in our nefesh and our souls. In the majority of the cases, we only recognize the more outer superficial reason of the of the of the problem that we're having. Shem Anfeya they are the offshoots of the problem. Ula Mikor Hadvar however, the source and the root of the actual problem in truth, who Pinima Omok Adam, it's very deep inside the Nefesh, the soul of a person. Bishoresh Hanefesh Israelis, it's in the root of a Yiddish soul. Shishoresham in Avram Avinu, which comes. Our souls are enrooted from Avram Avinu. And the beginning of his entire service of Hashem, of Avram, came and stemmed from Emuna. Like it says in Chazal, Ben Gimel Shanim Hika Avram is At the age of three years old, Avram recognized as a creator of this world. Certainly, the way in which Avram Avinu went about recognizing HaKadosh Baruch Hu and coming to a level of Amunah, of belief in Hashem, and the way that we, in our times and generations, will reach a level of Amunah by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, there are total opposites how we're going to get there. Because we are fortunate. We already have a Kabbalah, we have a transmission that comes from our forefathers. And they had a Muna, and therefore they pass it down to us. And on top of that, we have the Torah HaKedosha, which tells us all about our Kodesh Baruch Hu to strengthen our Muna. By Avram Avinu, he didn't have any of that. He didn't have anyone to look to to teach him about a Muna. He figured it out himself. And he didn't have the Torah HaKedosha the way that we do that speaks about all the details of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and the way that he runs the world and how he's intimately involved in Sechar Va'inish, reward and punishment. And we don't hear, he, he didn't hear the voice of Hashem through the words of the Torah that bespeak HaKadosh Baruch Hu's wonder and his might and his awesomeness and, and it, which is going to strengthen our Amuna. Avram didn't have that. So we are, we are privileged and we are fortunate we're at an advantage over here. We have all of that. However, the similarity between us and Avram Avinu, we are obligated to implant inside of our hearts very good, the foundations of all foundations. Which is true Amuna in the living God. We have the same charge as Avram Avinu, and that is find Hashem in your life. In, in plant inside of your hearts, Amuna Ba Hashem. And it doesn't have to be complicated, it doesn't have to be mystical, it doesn't have to be lofty. Amuna Pshuta, just like the Chavaz Chaim taught us, get down to the basics, back to the basics. And when a person does that, they're going to be someone that is living the Amuna, they're going to be living with faith, living with belief, living with their trust in the Rebbein Yishayim, and in that zechus, we can align ourselves with lifestyles of the Chavetz Chaim and others who lived a lifetime of Amuna Ba'ashem. Have a wonderful day.